What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Frog coming at you with another reaction video. We got us a scary video on our hands, man. Shout out Mr. Kiwis for suggesting me to react to this. 11, 3 a.m. video just not watch at night. Now, it's 2 a.m. right now. 2.10. Actually, it's 2.10. So, it's close enough to 3 a.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just got faded up, man. Just got faded up. New cut, new cut Bronco in the building. Anyway, let's see what goes down. I'm not really a scary video horror person, so I don't know how I'm going to take it, bro. It said that 3 a.m. is when most paranormal bro, and scary events Bro, imagine happen. seeing it walking up your steps. Show, it might just be better to go to bed early instead. Number instead. 11, a ghost hunting channel called Holy Walkers is exploring an abandoned building. At 3 a.m. to catch some spirits on video. Why are you the talking like this? notice is a discarded bike and a pile of clothing in the front yard. So either people occupy this building or something this extremely building. terrible happened here. They keep thinking they hear voices, but nothing is really getting picked up on video. One thing they do record, though, is a noise that sounds like a firework or a shot. Boy. <laughs> I'm out of here. I think this sound might be paranormal because it's hard to tell its exact location, which means it might be residual energy from a bad event. After residual a search, energy. They find a discarded round on the floor. While they are pondering what could have happened here, they hear another phantom shot and all go running. I ain't, I ain't hear it. <laughs> I dipped out the hole. Hey, I would have the same Maybe thing, bro. Was trying to scare them off, or something seriously paranormal is there. Number two. Why, buddy, talking like two this, bro? Friends stand in a creepy gray shed in the middle of the night to see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they hear a quick sawing motion on the other side of the wall they're standing by, followed by some white orbs. In the morning, white orbs. Was that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside to investigate, the door slams behind them. Except there's just one problem. There's no door and there never was. I'm gone. Oh, oh, I swear to God. But neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Did he just say they go back in? At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they both escape. Number nine. He just said they went back inside. The Legends TV Why would you do that? A tunnel at 3 a.m. when he comes across a stencil message on the wall. Oh, no. It's a rant about someone who doesn't want to take their medicine or live in a Bro, that, that could be a prank, anymore. though. Perhaps made by someone who escaped an institution and now lives down here. To further support this theory, they find a lone baby doll laying in the dirty Ooh, water. Hell no, nah, that's a prank. under the doll's arm is a steel blade. For all I know... You see how neat the letters was? That's a prank, fool. They go only a little deeper and find this red clump of what appears to be matted hair stuck to the wall. Bro, that is weird. Like skull. Number eight. It's late at night when a group of friends hear a woman screaming for help and decide to investigate inside the house. They enter and look around trying to figure out where the woman Bro, is. Bro, what is wrong Soon with these people? The cameraman people? realizes their female friend is no longer with them. And as they head upstairs, they see her getting Boy, hell no. Nah. They try to go back downstairs. Bro, <laughs> 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 possessed with a group trapped inside the house. Bro. They are eventually each picked no. off by whatever was in that house. According to the footage, the group was never seen again. And though their reactions seem quite realistic, I've been unable to find more information on the incident, so therefore I cannot decide whether this is real <laughs> Bro, or a skit. Number that is seven, a skit, ain't no way. A YouTuber named Just Cryptic is on a mission to fully explore an abandoned school that's ready to fall to the ground. Look how close he comes to dropping through the floor without realizing it. Without realizing it. <laughs> Bro, buddy could have died. He doesn't fully notice how wide the crack is until he's already well past. Rubble on the floor could conceal more holes the same Buddy could have died. So Why are you in an abandoned building? Worse still, they keep thinking they hear noises coming closer and closer until finally something is in the same room with them. 
they all pause and slowly turn around. It's too dark to tell for sure. What is it? But for a full ten seconds, they swear they see a hooded figure in the shadows. Let me know if you can too. If this was a person watching them, they chose not to advance. Bro, I don't like, I don't like this, man. Just cryptic, slowly I don't turns like this scary stuff, fool. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric waits until 3 a.m. to communicate with the other side at a cemetery in Japan. He sets up the spirit box and waits to be contacted. They soon sense the presence of a lonely ghost at a single Why would you go to a cemetery at nighttime? Apparently, the spirit understands its surrounding and knows exactly where it is. <laughs> Bro, those spirit readers creepy. The spirit box continues to chirp out static until the waves clear and this phrase comes out. <laughs> what they're jealous of, I'm guessing, is the fact that Eric is still alive. They probably should leave by now. But curiosity compels them to stay put until the camera goes out of focus, almost like somebody is very near, maybe even in front of them. And I'm not sure, but I think I hear the name Eric spoken in a thick Japanese accent. Bro, More hell to no. Find Eric. And by the end of the video, an invisible congregation has formed all around him, and he finds himself is surrounded by hushed threats and whispers of regret. <laughs> I think this voice is real because the spirit box only gets Bro, I need to look into those first. little ghost reader things. It finishes with a chorus of voices. Number five. A YouTuber named Bros Got Game is convinced that his local graveyard is haunted. But the only way to find you out You go to a graveyard at night, Tom, bro. Look how creepy that is. Courtyard before they hear something approach. Wait, have you guys seen anything now? Smoke follows you were probably like a cat or something. Even though <gasps> there are no flames at any point in the video. After following a dirt path for a while, they come across a broken rope suspended from a gnarled old tree. It's pretty obvious to me that it must have snapped under someone's weight, though where they are is not Bro. clear. A short while later, one of them thinks they feel something grab their arm and quickly hurry out. Certainly a smart choice. Number four. Bro, it's three hell a no. A YouTuber by the name of KG Talik is ready to summon the spirit of Bloody Mary. Bro, I have never did Bloody Mary in my life. Her. With nothing but a plastic Never. hair pick on the counter to defend himself with. Upon the third recitation of her forbidden name, he sees movement from the corner of his eye. Something on the other side slaps and scratches at the shower curtain and then promptly vanishes. He shows the bottom of the tub to prove it's really empty. It takes all of his courage to stay in the room and resume the ritual. But no he matter. comes down and says her name three times again. This time she is even madder than before. Bloody Mary. Bloody. What the? the shower curtain Man, get out of here, bro. is waiting on the other side. But when he pulls it back, once again, no one is to be found. Number three. No, somebody could easily be at the other side of the room knocking on it. India, called but the Dry Bones Ritual. For those who are familiar, this is where you conjure a demonic spirit who will try See, to you don't play with. Stop playing with spirits and stuff, bro. Without getting caught, you are spared. But first, you need to get the spirit's permission to play. To do this, Kashal has to light a match. And if it stays lit for 15 seconds, he may proceed. As you can see, the match lasts exactly 15 seconds. 13, don't play with spirits, fool. 14, 15, I don't care what you believe in. The demon's attention and may continue. The next step is to acknowledge the demon's presence and welcome it to play. Watch this part and tell me if you would be brave enough to say this three times in the dark by candlelight. Because I'm not sure if I would dare. I am aware of your presence and I welcome you into my house. Come now. Hours pass in the darkness until there's Dude, only 30 stupid. minutes left to 3 a.m. At which point He's he stupid. will be safe. But just when he is beginning to doubt the ritual, he is discovered. <laughs> At this point, you're supposed to make a run out of the house as fast as you can. <laughs> oh, God. But Kashal is too afraid to move. 
He makes the mistake of staying put and the candle extinguishes. He so out of here. If you think this part is the work of a spirit or not, number two, when a YouTuber named Dre Nation is walking home at 3 a.m. in his native country of Jamaica, he begins to worry about what could happen to him at such a late hour. So he starts recording a video to make himself feel safer. Yeah, man, you ain't gonna kiss me walking around no nowhere at, all except at for 3 a.m. the street lamp, and most of the video is nothing but darkness. Few people are up to any good at this hour, and every passing car fills him with dread. After marching through the night for some time, Dre senses something watching him from afar. He spins around and thinks he sees something, though I don't think it shows up on camera. Let me know if you see something under the street lamps in the distance. So back on from that. What's that? I ain't see you. Soon he hears a pack of stray dogs barking from far away. So scared. It sounds like they are gaining on him, I ain't seen but it's it. impossible to tell how many of them there are, or how close they are because he is now fleeing down the darkest part of the road. He doesn't want to trip over something. That's why you gotta call an Uber or some fool. In the pitch black night, so he isn't fast enough and eventually they catch up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the dogs turn out to be too small to do much of anything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I heard some dogs, I'm burning. Eating the block. He eventually composes himself and completes the rest of the way home. Before we get to number one, he's in an office building with a reputation for being haunted. So he waits until nighttime to start recording a video for his channel. At 3 a.m., the lights go out at random. Look closely, and you'll see a shadowy figure dart across the doorway moments prior. <sighs> Boy, hell no. A short while later, no. the speakers one room over turn on by themselves and play a haunting melody. Watch his reaction and tell me if you think he's acting surprised or if this really happened by itself. Well, I think you can time it or something. No, I can't freaking oh, time it. Just when things are it's too back to normal, the lights cut out again and this time if you look closely, you'll see a figure with long hair over its face. Bro, I hate looking at stuff like this, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I hate looking at stuff like this, especially when it's this late. Like, I really want to take a shower right now, but I don't even want to leave my room right now, because, bro, it's dark out there, right? I ain't gonna lie. I think I would see a, a figure in the back standing right there. No cap. Hey, man. I might do some more scary videos. I don't know, bro. I don't really like stuff. I don't get down with stuff like this, man. Like, come subscribe, comment down below. You ask me this, I'm out.